welcome to our channel. The Crossing Cottage hosted a wedding this past weekend, which we're clearly still recovering from. We hosted Davy's younger sister's wedding in our backyard, and there were about 50 guests, so it was minimal and pretty intimate. Even though I love planning weddings and parties, events, anything like that, this was no easy task. There was so much time and planning and preparation that went into it, um, but we're so pleased with how it turned out. It was, it turned out really, really nice. And we were just so honored that we got to host it at our cozy little cottage. Um, I'm gonna be sharing some of the details. I'm first gonna be sharing some of the details that um, went into planning and piecing this wedding together. But make sure you stick around until the end. You can see just how beautiful everything turned out and just relive the wedding fun with us. We have chairs we brought from church. These are gonna get covered with chair covers. We have rectangular tables um, for the food, the drinks, the gifts, a sweetheart table. Um, and then these are little foldable benches for extra seating at the ceremony. Those will get covered um, with some nice linens. And we're waiting on the porta potty to be delivered right now. And the tents for the reception are going to be set up right here in the front yard. We have tables right here that we also borrowed from church. They were so nice to let us use those. So we have about eight round tables um, to fit all the guests at the reception. Um, Davey put them there and covered them with the tarp. So everything's just sitting here ready to go, ready to get set up. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, me too. We have cups for drinks. I got these um, forks and like these really pretty gold plates and napkins at Dollar Tree. So um, we got clear ones for dessert, for cake. But the gold ones are for dinner. We have all these cool assorted vases. Um, a ton of off mosquito wipes. And then these are gonna be the centerpieces we kind of did a dry run yesterday. All these greens are from our yard, all these palm leaves, and then the carnations we got from Costco. So that is kind of gonna be the setup. These are gonna be lit, it's so pretty um, and simple. And I think it's just gonna be a really fun, simple, tropical glam wedding. These are all the greens and the palms that we cut yesterday from our yard to use in centerpieces. We're gonna trim them down and use them in bouquets and boutonnieres. It's just gonna look so pretty. I, I love greenery um, and I think this is gonna be so tropical. Um, it's gonna be the cutest little backyard wedding. We have flowers. Um, I put them in water when they were delivered yesterday from Costco. My husband had a 10 gallon, or is it five gallon? Five gallon bucket. We're using um, this to kind of hold the flowers. We got water and flower food in there, and they honestly opened up so pretty. They smell amazing. Um, these are just gonna give that little pop of color. Um, <laughs> you like the flowers, huh? You like the flowers? No. Yes, you do. Um, so these are gonna be so pretty, just kind of mixed in uh, with the centerpieces. And then here's our chair covers here. These were um, given to us to borrow by a friend. We have our handheld steamer. Um, lots more linens. These are the round table covers that are gonna go on the tables. All right, porta potties here. We got a porta potty because we didn't want like 60 people walking through our house, you know. Wedding time, should I button this top one? Um, no, leave that unbuttoned, definitely. I think you're gonna sweat, but it also keeps it like casual. Brother of the bride. Looking good. Thanks, babe.
How are you feeling? Just a little nervous. Yeah, but excited. Yes. You look so beautiful. Maybe a shakli. Yeah, you're gonna be a shakli. <laughs> are you ready? Okay. I'm very happy for the two of you, and I wish nothing but the best for you. And uh, congratulations on getting married, and good luck. For those who don't know me, <laughs> nearly a decade ago, I met Linda my first day of public school. When she was shy and I was a loud one. Boy, have things changed. A friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and can sing it back to you when you've forgotten the words. Linda, you have been there singing my song back to me too many times to count. You're the best friend I've always wanted. You're the one friend I can truly call all the time. You're the one person I know who will always be there for me. My wish would be if I had one is for everyone to have Linda in their life. Oh, sorry guys. You're good. I'm emotional.
We would love for you to stick around. We have so many fun things coming up this summer and we just can't wait to capture all the memories.